Hey there. So I discovered this earlier this morning. Uh, Blockstream has come up with a new service that allows you to be able to send virtually any data um, through the satellite constellation. And so you can basically use this interface to broadcast the transmission through their satellites and it will be distributed across the globe in literally minutes or even seconds. Uh, so I just wanted to show you a little demo of how that system works. So uh, right now, the service only works with testnet coins, which is good for testing purposes. Um, and basically it just allows you to be able to attach any file to the interface. So I'm gonna do ju just that now. Um, Right now, they have a maximum file size limit of 10 kilobytes. So I have a file here that's about 4.6 kilobytes. I am going to attach that file. And then the next step really is where you get to bid. So I think the idea behind this is, you know, similar to how the Bitcoin network works. If there is a large queue forming for data that needs to be broadcast through the satellite, you can bid to get your own data transmitted first or sooner than the other. So for now, we're just going to go with the default of 50 millisatoshis per byte. And then we get to see what our transmission ID is and what our authentication code is. Um, this is necessary in case you need to change certain parameters. Maybe you want to stop a transmission from going through or you want to increase your bid. Um, you would be able to use these parameters to access your transmission and then you can do that. So I'm going to Right now, I don't really care about this. So I'm just going to go to the next step. Ideally, you should copy this and store it somewhere. And gladly for us, um, you get to pay for, your, um, for that data transmission using Bitcoin on the Lightning Network. Um, so here, I'm going to pay for that file to get transmitted on the network. Um, and so I'm just going to copy this Lightning invoice and I'm gonna use my Lightning client here to pay. Um, and it's Lightning, I paste it in there. Then I get to see a summary of what that transaction is gonna cost. Uh, it's gonna cost me 227 Satoshis and it's gonna, the fee for routing this transaction is gonna be one Satoshi. So I'm gonna click send. I'm gonna enter my password. And voila, my payment has been sent. Just gonna go back home, be able to see the transaction here on the transactions. You can see that it was approximately one cent to send that file. So I'm gonna wait for uh, the site to catch up and detect the payment. And uh, um, I think this is already inserted into the queue. Um, what I would do is I'll probably go back to get my transmission ID. So it is 8A, 8A, the last ones. So I can easily check the queue here and I can see that under the queue, there are no transmissions that are pending. So basically I could have actually just used one milli Satoshi per, per byte and that would have gone through. Um, and then I can see here that the transmission, which equates to my transmission ID here, which was uh, had a bid of 50 millisatoshis per byte, and it was approximately uh, 4.6 kilobyte has been sent. So I hope you found that really, really interesting. Um, you can think about the different kinds of applications you could use this for. Um, it could be things like price feeds. You might be using it to distribute content globally. Um, it all uses the, the Blockstream satellite um, that are in space to send this data across virtually the entire globe. There are just a few places that are not covered by those constellation of satellites. So I hope you do find this useful and you actually give it a try and send some information around and start coming up with different kinds of uses that this might actually be applied to. Cheers.